Now understand this, guys. Everybody has, everybody has motivation in them. Everybody. Some of you are looking for, when people have told me, when I'm with you, when I listen to you, I feel like a macho man. When you go, I feel like a lily silly. Yeah, what do you mean, guys? What do you mean? Where does the motivation go? Oh, please call me every week so I can, get, I can stay motivated. I say, who motivates you to go to washroom every day? <laughs> who motivates you to go to kitchen every day? Who motivates you to open that fridge every day? Who motivates you to go to work every day? Same way, you got to be motivated yourself to go and show the plan to somebody every day. There is no other excuse. There is no excuse. So I have to, everybody has motivation. What we need to do is get that active. How do you make that motivation in you to be active? The switch has to be on. That takes a little bit of courage, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of understanding to get yourself confident in the business. You got to be a confident IBO, not the perfect IBO, not the right IBO. There is no perfect IBO, just for your information. Don't try, don't wait to become perfect. You are perfect exactly the way you are. Okay, so what do I have to do? Learn the skills in the business. Learn the skills, the four basics. The association has changed me completely. I was, in the beginning, I didn't know what dream was. I was so messed up with my nightmares, I didn't know what is a dream. But my nightmares motivated me to go to an open meeting, I will feel left out. Sergeant would call me and say, did you go to the meeting? Oh, you bet. I did you enjoy every bit of it. You know why I was going to the open meeting, honestly? Because I got to wear a suit. And I had to. But I had no use for it. Without the meeting, I would have never used my suits. So I got excited to go to open meetings. Because I looked good. I felt, I felt good when I was dressed up. How many of you feel like me? Okay, guys, press one notch up. Ah, every businessman is not going to wear a suit. Gandhiji didn't wear a suit. Don't worry about Gandhiji. He was where he was. You are where you are. <laughs> please, please, please. Now, why generation people? Guys, you know, there was a time people used to say, oh, man, it's so difficult to find a young guy being successful businessman. There was a time, once upon a time, nobody would take anybody young, successful in business seriously. Today is not that time. We have passed that time. More and more people are becoming B, billionaires who are less than 20 years of age. You got to learn. Be on hands-on on technology. Oh, I never wanted to start the iPhone. Don't worry, even I don't know about iPhone, but I have a wife who knows more about it. <laughs> can I carry an iPhone? Yes or no? Then you can learn the iPhone. Then you can learn it. See, if you have it, you'll learn it. That's why I usually tell people who have a lot of questions in the business. Ah, this, ah, that, oh, that. I say, stop jumping and start first in the business. If you start in the business, I can teach you everything. But if you're not in the class and you expect to get graduation, hello, first get into the class. Pay for the tuitions. Then I will help you to become successful. Are you with me, guys? Okay? So focus. Focus yourself. Look for people who are ready now. Now don't tell me, I'm going to show everybody the plan, whoever walks with me. Don't look for choice. See guys, don't forget chances. Look for people with character. Look for people who are willing to be teachable. Look for people. How do I look? You become one. You become one. You will find you are attracting people just like you. If you're not finding good people on your team, change you. If you're not finding people who are going, coming back, hey, I have people who come to open meetings and they have all smiles, they have all high fives. But when they leave, I don't know what happens. When they come in, they high fives. When they go back, they high five. <laughs> what happens? Stay motivated. What, this function. How many of you have come to this function to make a difference in your life? <laughs> I, 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 let me ask you one more time. How many of you have really come in this function? This function, this uh, summer conference, listening to all the leaders that are going to come up and change your life. <laughs> Let me tell you this. This is how you'll leave this function. Because you've come prepared. You've come planned. You've set some goals. I never set a goal. The only goal I set was that was the date I was going to get married to Nilufa. I didn't set the date because I don't remember it. I mean it. I'm not being arrogant about it. I just don't. 29 January, 19 something, something. But I really don't know. But you know something? I did everything to please my wife. I didn't have people told me you've become wife's man and this and that. Hey guys, after marriage, I'm proud to be my wife's man. I'm proud to be an Amway distributor. How, what are you apologizing for? Oh, but my deal, you don't have to sell. You come into our network, but you don't have to sell anything. 
It's permanent. You get in, you permanent, they'll send you checks. Lying through their teeth. There is no better business than Amway. I'm telling you, everyone who is sitting in this room for the first time, there's no better business than Amway. I am not married to Amway. I'm married to Nilofa. But I'm convicted that I, my success will come from my Amway business. There is no other thing. When people have options, when people have other plans, they are never focused on the business. I've seen platinums grow their business and they go and find some other deals. And so all of a sudden, they don't quit the business. But what they do is they start focusing on other deals. They're already off focus. And that's why they succeed in that business because they're focused on that business and they don't focus on this. Don't do that mistakes. Focus on your dream. You have what it takes. Sometimes multitasking is not a good thing. People hear, hey, don't put eggs in all, all your eggs in your one basket. Don't use it on Amway. Don't use it on Amway. You know why? Because Amway gives you more than 10 ways of making an income. So you already have different baskets. Don't look for more baskets. Because you will lose your 10 baskets also which are Amway giving you. Some of you are not thinking right. You got to start thinking right. What is right thinking for those? Follow the upline like Sajid and Servant in my case. I put my hand, Nilfa, please come. This is like, uh, Sajid is here, Sajid in the group? Sajid? Okay, okay, one minute. If this is a Sajid, if this is Sajid, wherever he went, I went. <laughs> wherever he went. I didn't know if I, okay, Nilfa, please, this side also. Please, this side. Okay, look, look at my eyes. Wherever he went, I went. Look at my eyes. I, you got to have that faith. You got to have that faith that wherever he is going to take me, I'm going to be successful. I'm going to be successful. Some of you have your different methods. Hey guys, you could be very successful running an organization, company, social work, church, anything you may be doing. We want you in the business. We want more successful people outside to come in. But when you come in, we want you to be teachable. We want you to learn. My people have never judged me. I love them and they love me. I have never asked people to clap for me. I've never asked people to love me. I've never asked people to respect me. I've never asked people to do anything where I have to earn it. I hope you feel the same about your life. You work your butts out. They have no choice but to give you love, give you respect, give you everything and more that you can offer. And what a pleasure, and what a pleasure to become somebody, to become somebody. And I again end by telling you, thank God for Rajan Sangeeta, Kulin and Meena, Kanti and Lata, and Bill and Peggy for being our friends and always having a hand. God bless you guys.